inside the cabin, we were full of heavy smoke. I couldn't even see my hand. I didn't know where up from down was. A BSL paramedic sharing his story of survival after the rescue helicopter he was in went down in flames last month. Two people were killed, including his colleague. And he believes this tragedy could have been prevented. Local 10's Cody Weddle is in Pompano Beach to explain. It was nearly a month ago now that this helicopter spiraled to the ground into this apartment building behind me. This paramedic and his attorney today laying out why they think a company that worked on this chopper was negligent. But this was also the first time we have heard from Michael Chaguaceda, an incredible story of survival here. He did not think he would survive this. We're talking about a mechanical failure in a helicopter that had just been serviced weeks before this incident. Nearly a month after this Broward Sheriff's chopper fell out of the sky and on top of an apartment building, one of the survivors announcing plans to sue a company that worked on the helicopter prior to the crash. Then Metro Aviation and whoever was involved in that work needs to be held accountable. Metro Aviation, a Louisiana-based maintenance company that paramedic Michael Chaguaceda and his attorney say installed an air conditioning unit on the chopper less than a month before it crashed. Chaguaceda also describing the terrifying moments he realized the chopper would go down. Every single thought I had was my son, my family, how is this going to be explained to my son? Moments before, he says, he started seeing smoke and fire coming from the cockpit. And right before this tail rotor came off, uh, my captain, Terrison Jackson, which uh, we, we lost, he uh, looked at me dead in the eye and told me, don't worry, Mikey, it's, we're going to be good. He told me that. He never made it out. Chaguaceda talking about his best friend, Captain Terrison Jackson, who died in the crash. We landed nose first into this dwelling, which is why my captain died on impact. He and his crew were headed to a crash involving a young boy who had just been hit by a car. Chaguaceta was able to crawl out of that chopper. He also managed to contact dispatch so another crew could take that call involving the child. All I could think about was that child being that I have a six and a half year old at home. And we did reach out to Metro Aviation, the company here that this uh, paramedic plans to sue, but we did not hear back. Meanwhile, the National Transportation Safety Board continues to investigate what exactly caused this crash. We are in Pompano Beach. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.